One of the most inspirational and best-selling authors to this day is Og Mandino. Og Mandino once said, I will act now, I will act now, I will act now. Henceforth, I will repeat these words each hour, each day, every day, until I become as much a habit as my breathing. The ideals you pursue determine who you are and what you will become. Well, that same is true for core values, because the values you pursue determine who you are and what you will become. John Klein said, servant leaders lead because it is the best way for them to serve others. So it's important to remember that as servant leaders, we must lead in the best interest of others. And in doing so, we must communicate effectively when dealing with others. I am specifically interested in studying organizational communication and, and development as well as leadership communication. Most of my extracurricular activities have been in nonprofit and fraternal organizations. Organizations like Habitat for Humanity and Circle K International have helped me find a passion for service. Having served in leadership positions has helped develop my leadership abilities. I really believe extracurricular involvement can be a great form of education, a terrific educational experience, and I believe it's helped me put into practice what I've learned in the classroom. You know, we can learn so much from individuals who have led throughout history. We can learn from their leadership styles and characteristics, and that can be studied and then applied to our lives. I believe that one main characteristic of effective leadership is that of effective communication. When we look throughout history at the men and women who have led successful organizations like Truett Cathy or Mary Kay, or those who have led effective change like George Washington or Martin Luther King Jr., we see the common connection of them being effective communicators. Therefore, if individuals build and develop their communication skills and abilities, then I believe that they will be more successful as leaders. And as leaders, we can have a positive impact within our communities and make a difference in the lives of others. I feel it is important for us as citizens to give back to our communities and help those who are in need. Giving back to our communities can provide a sense of fulfillment, but more than that, it's important for people to understand the need to give back to our communities. I mean, it's great to feel good about serving, but until you understand firsthand the positive impact that just one person can have through the giving of their time and talents, I don't believe you can fully understand or appreciate the act of serving others. So when I travel and speak, I hope to motivate others to be more active in their communities, to step up and serve as leaders in organizations or within community activities so that they can find where their passion is and so that they can do the most that they can to have a positive impact in the lives of others. Japanese proverb that says, vision without action is a daydream. Action without vision is a nightmare. I did my research on socioeconomic status and how it influences American politics. I did my research on political communication and today we're going to look at the political communication of the 2004 presidential campaign and the selling of a president. Through study and research, I have analyzed from a historical perspective the influence of African Americans in American politics. 
Today I will outline four historical periods where African Americans had a powerful and positive influence in American history and in American politics. And Ayn Rand, a novelist and philosopher, said, throughout the centuries, there were men who took first steps down new roads armed with nothing but their vision. But I'll tell you this, a key, a key aspect of being a leader is being able to get up and speak is being able to get up and effectively communicate your thoughts. So in order for you to be an effective leader, communication is essential. So it's important that you speak and act with integrity. Integrity breeds credibility. with honesty and integrity. Good cooks know what ingredients go into their recipes. And just like good cooks know ingredients for their recipes, so leaders should know the ingredients for effective So right now, you know, holler out some expectations that you have this week because I'm going to make a list um, of these expectations and throughout the week we're going to just, we're going to put this up and we want to make sure that, that these expectations are being met. I mean, it could be anything from, you know, making sure we have eggs for breakfast or something, you know. So just, you know, anything, just, you know, whatever your expectations are, you know, I'm going to speak a little bit about communicating as a leader. I'm a senior communication studies major at Troy University uh, with a leadership minor. I'll graduate this December and I hope to go on to graduate school to study communications. But one area of communications that I'm very interested in and very passionate about is that of leadership communication. Because I feel like, in a way, leaders must be good communicators. Many of us have heard the starfish story where the child is on the beach tossing all these starfishes back in the water that have been washed up on shore and a man walks up to him and says son there's so many of them it's not worth it he picks up a starfish and says it's worth it to that we cannot do all the good that the world needs but know that the world and our community needs all the good that you can do Mandino continues his quote by saying, Tomorrow is the day when failure will succeed. I am not a failure. I will act now. Success will not wait. Now is the time. This is the place. I am the person.